So in the last 20 years, cases of inflammatory bowel disease have doubled. Something is triggering the immune system to attack the gut more than it used to, and we're only just beginning to understand why. In IBD, the immune system goes rogue, mistaking your gut lining for a threat and launching a full-scale attack, which is strange because your gut is supposed to be protected by a kind of peace treaty, a thick mucus layer, helpful bacteria and immune cells that know not to attack. They all work together to keep your gut healthy while letting you digest food. But in IBD, something breaks that agreement and then suddenly your whole body starts treating your gut like a war zone. Now, there are two main types of IBD, Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. They're different in where they strike and how deep they go and the causes are still being uncovered. It's likely a mix of genetics and environment and a gut microbiome that's out of balance. And once the immune system starts overreacting, it creates this vicious cycle. Inflammation damages the gut lining. That damage allows bacteria to leak through, which makes the immune system even angrier. It's like throwing more wood onto a fire that's already out of control. And the symptoms really aren't nice. They include cramping, diarrhea, fatigue, even weight loss. But beneath the surface, there's microscopic chaos neutrophils rushing in, cytokines like TNF-alpha fueling the flames, and the delicate architecture of your intestines slowly starts breaking down. That's why treatments aren't just about calming the symptoms, they're about calming the immune response. From anti-inflammatory drugs to immune modulators, even poo transplants, we're learning how to restore balance. But the bigger question remains, why does the peace treaty break in the first place? To me, it's not a coincidence that Shortly after our consumption of ultra-processed foods began to skyrocket a few years ago, rates of IBD and bowel cancer started rising in young people. 